Hello everyone. Welcome to lecture 5 of rational numbers. If you recall in the last lecture we have learned few properties. Closure. Next. Yes, commutative. Associative. Importantly we learned distributive property in the last lecture. Correct. So now it's time that we go ahead. We understand the next thing. It's simple. Say for example, I have a number like 2 by 3. Now tell me one thing. What do I multiply by 2 by 3? What do I multiply by 2 by 3 such that the result is 1? Think. Answer is 3 by 2. Let's check. To solve this, there are two methods. Method 1. Agar multiplication in beach mein, to numerator aapas mein, denominator aapas mein. That becomes 6 upon 6. 6, 6 cancel. Answer is 1. Second method. I can cancel out this 3. I can cancel out this 2. So when you cancel out 3 1s are 3 1s are, 2 1s are, 2 1s are. So 1 into 1, 1 upon 1 into 1, 1. Answer is 1. In other words, if I have a number like 2 by 3, what do I multiply by it such that the result is 1? Answer is 3 by 2. In such cases, we call this 3 by 2 as something. We call it as multiplicative inverse what do we call it as multiplicative inverse in simple words if you observe this multiplicative inverse is nothing else but reciprocal check it out 2 by 3 ka reciprocal 3 by 2 yes or no but just you should know that if I have a number and I multiply it by some other number such that the result is 1, then this number that you multiplied will be called as multiplicative inverse of this given number. Similarly, let's take an example of minus 8 by whatever, 3. Minus 8 by 3. Multiply something with it such that the result is 1. So your answer should be 3 by 8. Yes, but with a negative sign. Check it out now. So can I say minus minus becomes plus 3 ones are 3 ones are 8 ones are I. That means I got the answer again as 1. Got it? So what is this minus 3 by 8 called here? It is called as multiplicative inverse. First property that we learned today, multiplicative inverse. Second property that we learned today is, if I have a number again like 2 by 3, just an example, what do I multiply with it such that the result is again 2 by 3? Yes, most of us gave the correct answer and the answer is, 1. That's perfect. Let's take one more example if I have minus 72 upon 7. What do I multiply with it such that the result is minus 72 upon 7? What do I multiply? Again the answer is 1. Because 1 into anything will give me the same number again. Am I right? In such cases if the result is same as a given number, then hum log ne jo multiply kiya, correct? That will be always 1. And in such cases, we call this 1. Jo hum log ne multiply kiya, that number, that means 1, is called as multiplicative 
identity. What do we call it as? Multiplicative identity. Whom do we call as multiplicative identity? The number that you multiply with given number. Such that the result is the same given number. Hoga. Then we call that thing as multiplicative identity. Can I say Hamesha multiplicative identity one he hoga? Yes. Nothing else but one. Did you understand the point? Everyone? Nice. Now let's go ahead. If you recall in our last lecture what we have covered we have covered till this ninth question now it's time we go for tenth one I'll ask you okay let's begin name the multiplication property of rational numbers shown below in first one, which property do you think they have applied? Let's observe together. 3 by 5 into minus 8 by 9. Same numbers again, but position is interchanged. In such cases, we call such property as what? What? Yes. I hope you said it correct. It is called as commutative property. Next, observe this one, second one. Did you observe that only brackets have been shifted? Numbers are same. Yahan pe brackets are with first two numbers. So, yani pehle ye solve hoga. Uska result multiply hoga is ke saath. Yahan pe bhi numbers same. Sirf bracket shift hoga, yani pehle ye solve hoga. We have covered something like this. Such property is called as what? Come on. Associative property. Chalo, let's go for third one. 4 by 5 into this equals to 4 by 5 into this plus 4 by 5 into this. Hey na? We have learned this in the last lecture itself. We call it as what? Yes, distributive property. Next one. Minus 7 by 5 ko kisi ke saath to multiply kiya such that the result is 1. And wo kis ke saath multiply kiya? Reciprocal ke saath. Yes or no? What did we learn today? What is this property called? It is called as multiplicative inverse and the last one 8 by minus 9 ko kisi ke saath to multiply kiya such that the result is again 8 by minus 9 this property or such property is called as multiplicative identity this is the same thing same number into 1 1 into same number answer is the same number we call it as multiplicative identity Got it? Alright, let's go ahead. Fill up now. The product of two positive rational numbers is always dash. That means, for example, two positive rational numbers like if I take 8 and 4. Okay. 8 and 4 are both positive? Yes. So the result is what? 32. So again, will I say always the result is 32? Obviously not. The result is always positive. Did I get minus 32? No. So any two positive rational numbers when you multiply, the result is always positive. Next. The product of two negative rational numbers is always dash. We will say negative. Let's take an example. Let's take minus 2 into minus 3. Answer is minus 6. Nope. Because minus into minus becomes plus. So answer is what? Plus 6. That means whenever we multiply two negative rational numbers, result is always positive. Next. If two rational numbers have 
opposite signs then their product is always dash that means one number is positive other is negative opposite signs so plus 2 into minus 3 2 3 is a 6 plus into minus minus so answer is minus 6 so if there are opposite signs the product is always negative don't forget that next one reciprocal of positive rational number is dash example example let's take 7 what is the reciprocal of 7 1 upon 7 is 1 upon 7 positive yes that means the reciprocal of positive rational number is always positive and the reciprocal of negative rational number is dash you tell me answer is negative next rational number 0 has dash reciprocal can I say rational number 0 has no reciprocal or let's understand I am trying to take 0 as my given number and the reciprocal of 0 will be what the reciprocal of 0 will be 1 upon 0 correct so you will say the reciprocal of 0 is 1 upon 0 right but there is a problem the problem is my dears that you cannot ever write 0 in denominator not possible because if you write whatever number upon 0 for example 23 upon 0 for example uh, minus 7 upon 0 or whatever if you write upon 0 that means you've written a number which is not yet defined which is beyond our imagination which is infinite did you understand for example today do one thing take calculator and on that calculator try and uh, solve 1 upon 0 or 1 divided by 0 23 divided by 0 whatever divided by 0 you know what you will get you will get ERR as a result means error error means incorrect question in this case because you can't ask anybody something divide by zero because divide by zero is not possible in maths okay because it is infinite the number that we yet don't know so coming back to the question question was rational number 0 has what reciprocal it has no reciprocal next the product of a rational number and its reciprocal is dash we saw this today when I explained on the book so I don't want to do it again I'll leave this for you next one the numbers dash and dash are their own reciprocals now this is nice to try numbers dash and dash are their own reciprocals think I guess few of us already got the answer the number one let's think is their own reciprocal because one ka reciprocal is one upon one so one upon one is how much again one so one ka reciprocal is one similarly minus one think about this minus one ka reciprocal means take a pen and write and see minus one ka reciprocal means one upon minus one so one upon minus one is again minus one last one if m is a reciprocal of n then the reciprocal of n is dash for example if reciprocal of 2 is 1 upon 2 then what is the reciprocal of 1 upon 2 again 2 agar 2 ka reciprocal 1 upon 2 to 1 upon 2 ka reciprocal 2 similarly if m is the reciprocal of n then the reciprocal of n is m m for monkey got it 
no not you people all right <laughs> now let's see the further part exercise 1d it says evaluate 1 divided by 1 by 3 chalo let's do it together 1 divided by 1 by 3 Now, what do you think? Will I actually divide it and see? No. Whenever you have division sign, you can easily convert it into multiplication sign. For example, 1 divide, I will write in the next step, 1 multiplied by. Now, when you convert division into multiplication, this has to be reciprocated. That means, ulta, that means 3 upon 1. Yes, that becomes equal to 1 into 3 answer is 3 upon 1 now 3 upon 1 is something else but 3 got it now let's take a bit better example now by the way entire first question second question is similar let's take one or two examples from this okay let's check out maybe eighth one okay i'll write the question be with me So the question says, I have to solve 3 upon 4 divided by minus 5 upon 12. Okay, let's begin. Step 1, help me out. 3 upon 4, convert this into multiplication. Reciprocal, 12 upon minus 5. Am I right? Now, next thing. So, this bracket needs to be opened first. So, we have to solve it for that. But 12 and 5, there is no common table to cut and solve it? No. So, no problem. That means, I will keep it as it is. That means, it becomes 3 by 4 multiplied by 12 upon minus 5. Now, two methods. If you multiplication, then you multiply in the numerator and the denominator. That is one method. Second method, if there are cancellations possible, you can do that. But cautious, huh? cautious. If there are plus or minus, then there are no cancellations allowed. Yes, there are cancellations allowed. This is allowed. That is allowed. But if plus or minus, then there are no cross cancellations allowed. Point to be noted. Usme we take LCM only. Okay. But in this case I can cancel this. If you are not so comfortable with this. What you can do is. Do what you have learned. Numerator apas mein. 12 threes are 36. Upon 5 fours are 20. Minus sign as it is. So minus 20. Which is equal to. Can I apply some tables now? Yes. 2 ka table. Chalo. 2 1s are 2, 16, that means 2 8s are 16, right? Upon 2 10s are 20, minus as it is, which is further equal to 2 9s are 18, 2 5s are 10, minus as it is. Can I say no further cancellations possible? That means this is my answer. Most importantly, note what did I do? Division to multiplication. Then, numerator apas mein, denominator apas mein. Solve and get the answer. Alright. Next. Let's take one more. It says. Divide. Minus 5 by 8 by 1 by 4. Okay. Let's take this one. minus 5 by 8 divide by 1 by 4 this is the question so can I write it like this minus 5 by 8 divide by 1 by 4 next step I will write it as minus 5 by 8 multiplied by reciprocal 4 by 1 
I can cancel if I want. If you're not comfortable, numerator above and denominator above. Me. Okay. But if you're comfortable, let's do it and see. So four ones are four twos are. That means I'm left with minus five as it is into one upon. This becomes two now upon one, which is equal to minus five into one minus five upon two into one two. That's my answer. Can I say it's pretty simple? Everyone. All right. Time for one last question. Let's see. Let's take this one. It says the product of two numbers is minus four by nine. Okay. Question says the product of two numbers is minus four. By nine. If one of them is minus two by twenty-seven, find the other. Okay. So the product of two numbers is how much? Minus four by nine, right? So that means something into something equals to minus four by nine. I'll read the question further. If one of them is minus two upon twenty-seven, so one of them is minus two upon twenty-seven. Find the other. Let the other number. Let the other number be x. So that means this is x. Yes or no? Yes. Now let's solve this. Now if I try and solve this, can I say if I want to find x? I should keep x here alone and send this on that side of equal to sign. I'll send this number on that side such that ताकि मेरा x यहाँ पे अकेला रह जाए because x का आंसर चाहिए ना so I leave it alone. Okay, so that becomes x equals to This minus four by nine, as it is, because I did not touch it. But this I'm sending it here. Now listen carefully. When you send a fraction on the other side of equal to sign, so you got to reciprocate it and send. कब जब वो यहाँ पे मल्टीप्लिकेशन में है ना? देखो, x के साथ ये नंबर कैसा है मल्टीप्लिकेशन में? ऐसे केस में आपको ये जो नंबर है जो फ्रैक्शन है जब उस साइड भेजोगे इक्वल टू के साइन के तो आपको क्या करना है यू हैव टू रेसिप्रोकेट इट मतलब इट बिकम्स इन टू ट्वेंटी सेवन अपॉन माइनस टू बट अगर यहां पे मल्टीप्लीकेशन की जगह पर प्लस या माइनस होता ना तो मैं इस फ्रैक्शन को उस साइड भेजते वक्त रेसिप्रोकट नहीं निकालता कुछ और करता वो क्या दैट वी लर्न लेटर फॉर नाउ अगर मल्टीप्लीकेशन है तो उस साइड जाएगा तो आई रेसिप्रोकेट इट समझता है क्या एवरीबडी विच इज इक्वल टू नाउ इफ आई वॉन्ट आई कैन डू कैंसिलेशन ये आपस में कैंसिलेशन चलेगा ये आपस में चलेगा ये दोनों आपस में चलेगा कैंसिलेशन ठीक है बट इफ यू नॉट कंफर्टेबल तो गो फॉर दैट न्यूमिनेटर आपस में मल्टीप्लाई करो डिनोमिनेटर आपस में एनी वे सो नाउ आई डू कैंसिलेशन Nine ones are nine threes are twenty-seven. Again, minus minus cancel. Two ones are two twos are. So that becomes equal to. This is two minus minus is gone. Two into what is this? Three upon nine ones. That means I'm left with only one here. Upon minus two के साथ one बचा था. That means this is one. Now this is equal to two threes are six upon one. Answer is six. and that's my final answer so what should be multiplied the answer is x that means the answer is 6 6 should be multiplied with this number so that i get the number as minus 4 upon 9 all right now if you understood all this now it's your duty it's your responsibility that you have to finish exercise 1d as homework my dear 
let me remind you we will check it soon all right stopping the lecture here see you very soon thank you everyone